Success Day on Believe, where we are sharing positive topics regarding true success, money and business, health and wellness, world news, and a topic that we're we'll talking about today, our universe. I'm Karen Laffey. Make sure to check out our website at believelovesyou.com and YouTube at YouTube forward slash Believe Loves You. iTunes users, believe iTunes.com and for Android, believe Android.com. So our universe, there was an article that was released on the 12th of this month on the dailymail.co.uk that actually reported that there is a black hole that is 75,000 miles wide on the sun. Now what? Well, experts warn that this 75,000 mile wide hole appearing on the sun could actually knock out communication satellites and cause blackouts on Earth. NASA spotted the sunspot last week, but it's apparently lingering on throughout the entire week. Dubbed the AR26665, this sunspot is so huge that it, it can even be spotted from Earth. Experts have warned that the spot is large enough to produce M-class solar flares, which of course can create beautiful stunning auroras. However, again, it's large enough that it can cause radio blackouts on Earth, knock out all of our communication satellites, and cause radiation storms. Such a storm could create pretty much havoc. However, however, on a positive note, they were mentioning that because where the, of where the sun is going to be in line, it actually will be a great time to take pictures of this event, if it happens. So the forecasters from the NOAA or NOAA were saying that there was a 25% chance of these M-class flarings because, because they're actually facing our planet or I shouldn't say because they're facing our planet, I should say because they are facing our planet, um, there is a high likely that this could possibly happen. But what does that actually mean for me and you? I mean, if these massive solar flares are going to affect our communications and cause havoc with um, our radars or satellite, I mean, that means no cell phone, that means no Netflix, that means a lot, actually. So... What does that mean to you? And what I mean by that is that when you hear news like this where, I mean, it's possibly devastating, you know, our lives could change, is that something that you're gonna freak out about or plan plan out? And basically what I mean by that is, what are you gonna do? Now that you have this information, what are you gonna do with it? Choose to keep on going, it's another day, there's nothing new, and, ha and it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I have bills to pay and I have other problems I need, that need to be solved. Or are you going to take this, you know, with a grain of salt and spend more time with family and maybe go through your documents and start trying to burn them onto non-digital things, but then how would you be able to review them if it's digital and we're having problems? Anyways, that's another topic. Or... Are you going to live life as though it's your last day on earth? Not as though that the world is going to end, but it's the last day that it, you might have on this beautiful earth. You know, every, honestly, every second is one second closer to you, one second closer to that day anyways. But um, yeah, so what do you do with that information? What do you do with all the these stories about war and end of the world and, you know, alien invasions? I mean my opinion is it's it's awesome to have knowledge and to be aware and to just file it back there for whatever it is that you want to do i don't recommend that you mull over it or worry about it because i always believe that there's a higher being that always has our back but it is a good time to think about how you're living today are you living in the moment as though it could be your last day on earth? Or are you living as though I need to prepare for the world to end? It's a pretty neat lot to think about.